My name is Karina Ward and this is how I helped my friends become parents. Being a mum has just been everything to me and it led me into wanting to help somebody else have that experience. I got into surrogacy completely by accident. My best friend Sue had experienced many, many years of not being able to get pregnant and almost joking one night really, I said, if I can ever have a family of my own, I'll have one for you. And we kind of laughed about it, but she knew I meant it. Once my son had been born, obviously, I knew I could carry a baby. Then as soon as my daughter was born, we said, right, let's do it. We went to London for an outpatient appointment to see if we'd be suitable for the surrogacy journey. That's obviously checking lots of health things. We had to all have counselling to check that we were all thinking on the right wavelength and we got the go-ahead to give it a go. I had to keep Sue positive. She phoned me about a couple of days after the transfer and said the clinic had been on the phone to say that the other embryos that were still in the clinic had not survived and she was convinced that that meant that the two that they'd put inside me hadn't survived either. Two weeks later they phoned me to say that I was pregnant. She just screamed louder than I've ever heard anything before. I'd asked the consultant, I said, you know, there's two embryos put in, there's only one heartbeat. And he said, don't worry, he said, that's why we put two in, because he said it gives one a better chance of working. A week later, I was on the bed for another scan and he turned the screen across to me and you could clearly see two. So I was a little bit cruel now, I phoned Sue straight away and I said, they said to tell you that the heartbeat's really strong actually. And she said, oh, this is incredible. I can't believe this is actually happening. And I said, um, he told me to tell you something else as well. He told me to tell you that the other one's heartbeat's really strong as well. <laughs> they chose not to find out what they were having, which was brilliant because that just made it even more special at the end when we went to theatre and they brought one of each out. It was like the icing on the cake. My intention was only ever to do surrogacy once and never ever thought that I would want to do it again. Realising how special it is to be involved, I just had this nagging feeling that I wanted to help somebody else. There was never a question in who I wanted to carry for next. Daniel was a doctor at the hospital where I worked and I knew that him and his partner were desperately hoping to become parents and the journey began. Isabella was born. A short time later, I started to realise that I'd completed my own family. I'd completed Sue and Paul's family. It would now be great if I could complete Daniel and Hilario's. And nine months later, along came Sophie. But to actually be able to get to the point where you have helped somebody become parents is just the most mind-blowingly crazy adventure you could ever imagine yourself on. I've got four surrogate children that I helped bring into the world and it's an absolute pleasure to watch them grow up with their families. People always say, do you think you'll be able to give the baby up at the end of the, the nine months? But it's not about that. It's not my baby to keep. It's just about looking after them for nine months really well and then handing them back to the parents where they're meant to be. I can't underestimate the fact that when you're pregnant with somebody else's child it must be very strange for your husband, your partner. But Tim always just went with it, he just always got it, he was really proud of me. My children have been brilliant. My son for example, um, when I told him that one of his friends was having a baby brother or sister, his first question was, oh, whose tummy is that baby in? So I think that keeps me quite grounded, really, realising that I'm teaching them something that is quite a valuable lesson in life. For me now, when I can't have any more children, it's about raising awareness of surrogacy to try and help others. If by talking about my journey inspires only one person to be a surrogate, then it's been worth it.